welcome all to May the 5th, 2020, the WHO Hand Hygiene Campaign Day. In the context of the current pandemic, hand hygiene is becoming more important than ever to public health. In healthcare facilities, proper hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub is one of the main pillars for stopping nosocomial spread of the coronavirus, COVID-19, as well as of all the many other viruses and bacteria found in hospitals and responsible for healthcare-associated infections. These infections affect millions of people per year and cause more deaths than malaria, TB and AIDS combined. The WHO Save Lives, Clean Your Hands campaign has been celebrated annually on May the 5th since 2009. So far, 142 of the 194 WHO member states have made formal statements pledging their support. More than 20,000 healthcare facilities across 189 countries have committed to improving hand hygiene. There is a special reason why today. I am here with Elizabeth Iro, Chief Nurse Officer at WHO, to introduce you to the 5th of May 2020 campaign. Elizabeth, how is WHO tackling this situation? This year, the annual 5th of May, WHO Global Hand Hygiene Campaign is tied to the International Year of the Nurse and the Midwife. Not only do we want to promote good hand hygiene and infection prevention and control practices, we also want to recognise the key role of nurses and midwives in preventing avoidable infection. As the largest group of health workers that provide patient-facing care, nurses and midwives are critical in delivering clean care. In many countries, Infection control leaders are typically nurses, therefore they have a special place in preventing HAIs. Hand hygiene is the single most effective action you can take to reduce the spread of pathogens and prevent infections, including the COVID-19 virus, all the way from the primary to tertiary level of care. Given their proximity to the patient, nurses and midwives are also the best place to advise patients and families on good hand hygiene practices. In childbirth and neonatal care, midwives practicing good hand hygiene can reduce maternal and neonatal mortality and morbidity. However, as revealed by our State of the World's Nursing Report 2020, nurses and midwives have experienced many challenges in their efforts to provide optimal care, but are too often understaffed, under-resourced and overworked. The global shortage of nurses and midwives is a major challenge to infection prevention because insufficient staff level is linked to increased healthcare associated infections rates. Also investing in good education and allowing nurses and midwives to practice to the full scope of their license will save lives, improve health outcomes, promote gender equality and support economic growth. We strongly encourage policy makers to make a greater investment in nurses and midwives. And finally, WHO wishes to express sincere, humble and total appreciation to all health workers sacrificing their time away from their families and social life to assist and save COVID-19 patients. Among them, a special thanks this year to nurses and midwives who also in normal times provide life-saving care in every community, in every health facility, and in every country. To all policymakers and leaders, we would like to say, expand, empower, and enable nurses and midwives, because our safety, our care, is in their clean hands. Deirdre will now explain the resources available for this year's campaign. Glad. In alignment with the theme of the Year of the Nurse and Midwife, the Save Lives, Clean Your Hands campaign focuses on this key group of healthcare workers, while, of course, also highlighting the role of all healthcare workers in clean care. So, here is the 2020 main poster campaign. Nurses and midwives, clean care is in your hands. The calls to action dedicated to them are, Nurses, clean and safe care starts with you. 
Midwives, your hands make all the difference for mothers and babies. Of course, we do have a message to infection prevention and control leaders. IPC leaders empower nurses and midwives in providing clean care. Policymakers increase nurse staffing levels to prevent infections and improve quality of care. Create means to empower nurses and midwives. And finally, and last but not least, patients, relatives and families. We want you to participate. Patients and families, safer care for you, with you. Of course, and as it is always the case, posters and tools have been translated in many languages and made available all over the world. Importantly, we have developed a system for you to be even able to choose your own pictograms at your own institution. Here is the poster maker system. Choose your pictograms. There are selfie boards for pictures. You should use the hashtags support nurses and midwives, hand hygiene, infection prevention. The hashtags are shown on the slide now. And here is a view of the website where to send your photos and images. We also developed a series of tools you can use, such as pins and gadgets you could actually develop, coffee cups you can create, as well as transparent stickers to be used on boards, windows and floors. We also developed the possibility for you to develop cardboards that you can mount and hang. Using all those tools and systems, send your global message anytime on and around 5th of May. Elizabeth, let's do it together, <laughs> right? Let's yes. clean our hands and as we all know, yes. save lives, yes. right? Absolutely. So what can we say to nurses and midwives? Nurses, Nurses and midwives, midwives clean, clean care, care is in, in your, your hands. hands.